Right, it is about time that we start working on our house again. Okay. Hands on. <laughs> Hello, my name's Lucy and this is my fiance Lahiri. I have been living in the south of Sri Lanka for almost two years and so far it's been quite the adventure. Click the subscribe button and come along on this journey with us as we continue to live simply and happily and also helping others along the way. Last week's episode was the first of the year where you would have seen us stuffing ourselves with yummy vegan food. If you yourself are vegan or vegetarian, then you will have no problem finding delicious food here in Sri Lanka. Mmm, so good. This week we are diving into our outside work, starting with the basics getting ourselves a water tank. Our water tank has arrived. We work hard creating easier access to the rest of our land and also carry on with adding plants to our garden that one day we will be able to harvest fruits and veggies from. It's actually been quite a few weeks since we've really got stuck in with the work since Christmas and New Year's we've taken a step back but we have been doing something quite exciting well for me it's really exciting we got gifted a load of pineapple plants by some of our friends are you counting? so we got them bought here the other night and offloaded them in the pitch darkness and then the other night we came here and we started planting them up the land which is really awesome and it looks so beautiful we'll show you in a bit but we've still got all these pineapple plants to find somewhere for them to go and we've got lots of other seeds that we've been working on um, growing like coconuts and mangoes and there's passion fruits growing there's lots going on but we've got lots of tidying up to do around here and this big pile of rubbish this all has to be cleared because we hope to get a water tank installed here very very soon and to do that we need to clear the pathway <laughs> what we've been doing so far we have planted our pineapples on level one and level two or well, technically level two and level three but it's super nice because our land is like all elevated but it's kind of in levels so we've named the levels and yeah we're planting the pineapples up here because apparently the pineapple plants attract the snakes it's really good snake homes so we don't want them near our house <laughs> We're planting them all up on our land and it's so nice because this is my dream. This is one of my biggest dreams is to live as sustainable and off grid as possible. And it's just so awesome that we're starting to plant what could potentially give us lots of food in the future. It's just a lot of hard work to get to that point, like going up and down this land <laughs> and through our current jungle situation. <laughs> Dad 
damage. That's hard work, that is. It's a little... Huh? A little Danny. Yeah, but lots of hard work. It is super nice to take breaks every now and again with a view of the lake right behind us. We literally can't get better than this. It's still insane that we actually, this is ours. It's still crazy. I think we still can't, it's still not sunk in properly. Anyway, the plan for tomorrow is to make this pathway more accessible because before all the building, we used to go up on the other side of the land, but it's now not accessible. The path is completely overgrown and the start of the path is just no longer. So we've now got this side, which is actually a lot easier. So tomorrow we plan to clear the pathway and cut out some steps for it, which will make it really easy accessible to come up to our levels up here and plant lots more vegetables and fruits in the hope that the wild boar don't get to them before us because that's what's been happening in the past. And also some locals also like to take our things. <laughs> I've been really busy taking all of the pineapple plants up these levels. Now here has been doing some digging for the holes. But since I've done all of the pineapple plants, he has done four holes and has just been speaking to the neighbour for the rest of it and not helping me. So now I've got to put him to work to dig all of the holes for all of these pineapples. Well, I just told the video that in the time that I've been taking all the pineapple plants up here, yeah. You've only dug four holes. Yeah. Because you've been speaking to the neighbour for the rest of the time. Yeah. And Udauna Oyage Nona. Nona Stone, my Nona. So now it's my turn to take a break. But unfortunately, I don't have a neighbour to talk to that can speak English. So I'll just be by myself. I'll talk to you guys. How are you? Are you okay? Did you have a good New Year? Yeah, mine was alright, thanks. Really busy. Pisu. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. Twenty-six pineapples planted and a lot left to go. And the reason why we want to get a water tank installed as soon as possible is because for some reason, whenever we come to our house, it never has any water. So we're doing all this hard work and we can't even shower afterwards and feel all refreshed. And we can't get any water for drinking or for making tea and coffee or for boiling vegetables or for anything. We need water. So we need to get this pathway cleared and get a water tank in as soon as possible. I don't quite understand what's going on here. Something about coconuts. I still don't understand. Drizzle, what's he doing? One of his crazy ideas. So if I'm the coconut, what happens then? I still don't understand. So what's your idea then? You are take this sun. Yeah. This last cable, mama. You space cable. On the coconuts? Coconut. Okay. Yeah. I guess we'll just see how it goes. Yeah. Because you're not very good at explaining your ideas. <laughs> Just all stays up in your head. You are Tarzan though, aren't you? I don't understand.
also we still don't have any water at our place the water never came on last night or this morning so unfortunately we can't have a coffee in the morning but we can have a coconut which we harvested last night well we didn't harvest it but here we harvest it <laughs> good morning everybody Oh no? Mm. Really? You want chickens? How many chickens? How many chickens? Yeah. Maybe hi hi? Uh -huh. You really want chickens? Yeah. Yay. What about cows? The cow no piss my yet. What? We've got God I place. Yeah. It's not black. Cows can climb. So this may be the third night that we stayed at our house since we got it last year in July. Um, we never stay here because we've got other responsibilities elsewhere, but last night we were able to stay here, which is super exciting. And it's just super nice to be able to wake up to the sounds of loads of birds and it's so peaceful and lovely. The only thing is we need to figure out our water situation so that we're able to do the basic things in the morning. Like make a coffee, flush the toilet, wash our face and brush our teeth. Okay, we are off to go to pick up a parcel. Not quite sure what that parcel is. I just received a letter the other day to say, come to post office school. So off we go. managed to find some water and we brought an empty bottle with us so we got some water from this tap here. Today now we start this road and top and go road this wood and clean and this cutting step. Yeah. Yeah, start. Patangong. Patangong. All this wood will be really good for firewood, so we're just creating a wood storage area.
this hard work is paying off. We're definitely seeing some progress and it's so nice to be able to be able to get to like the middle of our land with easy access instead of having to like go through a jungle and like falling down the slopes where actually have a bit more access now which is really nice so in the near future we'll be able to start planting more up here and doing more projects in our garden which will be really awesome and eventually this is where we're going to have our water tank near our jackfruit tree and then we'll put like a kind of decking over the top which will be a nice platform for the beautiful lake I think there is some rain on the way, which fingers crossed is definitely gonna come this way because that means we can get out all of our water buckets and collect some rainwater because still we do not have any water in our pipes and we still haven't had our water tank delivered. So I'm hoping that comes soon because we've only got a couple hours left of daylight. Water tank come. Okay, woohoo. Yeah. Do you think they'll help us to get it on the roof? Noise. No help? Noise. Yeah, that is a big tank, isn't it? It's good size. Our water tank has arrived. It's massive. We got the 2000 litre. Uh, we wanted to go for a, a bit of a bigger one, but not ridiculously big. So I think this is the good size. Now we've got to try and get it from here onto this roof we were planning on putting it up further into the garden which is the whole reason why we're clearing and everything but lahiri would like it on the roof because if anything was to happen to it if anyone wanted to slash it or put a hole in it then it's more likely that someone would see it happen and report it whereas if it was up on our land it's in a jungle and it's completely secluded up there so it's probably safer for now to have it up on the roof until we have a full fence around our perimeter so that nobody can trespass no one can come onto our private property and damage our lovely big water tank that's going to hold lots of lovely water <laughs> and we can do the dishes and clean and brush our teeth it's going to be wonderful Welcome. No. Come. Come. I can't get up there, my girl. Here, come. There's no way I'm coming up. Yeah, there. come. My girl, there's no way. It's coming. There's no way. It's so My girl. So so. Come. Look at me. Do you want me to take my shoes off? I feel One. like you're gonna drop me like that. One, two, three. Cut.
think that's us just about done for today. The last couple of days have been super productive. Um, we've got quite a lot done, really, haven't we? Loads of pineapples planted, the pathway cleared, steps put in. We're only on like the first level of our land. The rest of the land behind me is still jungle and it's going to stay like that for a very long time. But at least we have a little bit of a plan in place for where we go from here. And yeah. Buddy Guinea? Yeah. Same. Let's go get some food. So we have just harvested our first potatoes from our garden. Yay! Sri Lankan potato! <laughs> oh wow! Well, here he's cutting up the stalk and then we're gonna replant the stalk so it grows another manioc tree. What? There's a spider house there. What? Anyway, go like Rasai. Thank you this video looking and like and comment. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. It's been really awesome to get out in our garden and start seeing some progress. We hope so far that this new year is treating you well. See you next week. Bye. Where's the knife? Ah. I don't understand, you never explained it to me! Today, 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 we're in the near future.